Stockholm is the, the capital of Sweden, encompasses many islands and bridges on an extensive Baltic Sea archipelago. The cobblestone streets and ochre-colored buildings of Gamlestan, the old town are home to the 13th-century Storkikin Cathedral, the Kungligas Latet Royal Palace and the Nobel Museum, which focuses on the Nobel Prize. Ferries and sightseeing boats shuttle passengers between the islands. World-class museums, theaters, galleries, and gorgeous parklands await, and traveling around couldn't be easier. The excellent underground railway system, the Tunnel Bana, takes you almost anywhere in the city. A highly efficient and regular bus network fills in any gaps between destinations. Alternatively, take the time to walk instead, as Stockholm is a terrific city to absorb on foot. The city also has an efficient network of bicycle lanes. Locals proudly call the city Levenstad, or Living City, as a large part of the cosmopolitan population still lives in the downtown areas, a short hop from the city. You can explore the UNESCO-listed palace Drottning home and other fun tourist attractions on day trips. Presiding over the waterfront, opposite the Royal Palace and Old Town, Grand Hotel has hosted celebrities and Nobel Prize winners in its elegant suites and Michelin-starred restaurants. Those who prefer contemporary Scandinavian style will enjoy the Nobis Hotel on Nalmelmstorg, a public square in the heart of the city. Within walking distance of Gamla Stan and only two minutes from the train station, the Sheridan Stockholm Hotel is a reliable chain option in a fantastic location. To learn more about the many tourist attractions and cultural landmarks in this attractive European city, be sure to watch our video of the top attractions in Stockholm. Let's explore more about the best places to visit with our video of the top tourist attractions. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Explore Old Town Gamla Stan, the Old Town, also known as Staden Mellon, born in the town between the bridges, is the Old Town in Stockholm, containing genuine cultural heritage, as well as tourist traps. An island with great waterfront views, the northern part of the Old Town is dominated by the Royal Palace and the Swedish Parliament. The rest of the island is a picturesque collection of old buildings and narrow cobblestone streets. The adjacent island Riddarholm holds a church and several old government buildings. It is crammed with must-see sites, attractions, cafes, authentic restaurants, and boutique shops. The area of Gamblestan Old Town is a living, breathing museum in its own right. For many, this is the first stop on their journey of exploration. Certainly, there's no better way to instantly absorb the feel of Stockholm and get to grips with the city's culture. Plenty of souvenirs and gifts are available in the Old Town, and you will find yourself transported back to medieval times as you meander through a bewildering labyrinth of tiny, winding streets, many of which lead to or from Stordorgud, the main public square. Along the way, you'll discover countless mysterious vaults and ancient frescoes lurking behind picturesque facades. If visiting in winter, be sure to take in the marvelous Jalmarknad Christmas Market and experience akin to being in a fairy tale. Stockholm Cathedral, the Nobel Prize Museum, and the Royal Palace are all located here and should be high up on any sightseeing itinerary. If visiting the Royal Palace, also known as Stockholm Palace, be sure to catch the changing of the guard. Number 2. Royal Palace Stockholm The Royal Palace, at times referred to by Swedes at the Royal Castle, built between 1697 and 1754, dominating the northeastern part of the Old Town. It is located by the water's edge on the periphery of Gamla Stan. Stockholm's Royal Palace is the official residence of the King of Sweden. Interestingly, the Queen's residence lies elsewhere. It's on the beautiful island and UNESCO World Heritage Site, Drottningholm Queen's Island, about a 45-minute ferry ride from Stockholm, and an easy day trip. A rich taste of the once mighty Swedish Empire, the palace is one of the largest in Europe, boasting in excess of 600 rooms and several museums. Dating from the 18th century and built in Baroque style, the palace houses many gems. Here, you can see Queen Christina's silver throne and visit the Museum of Antiquities, the Armory, the Tree Croner Three Crowns Museum, and Treasury. Don't miss the daily changing of the guard. Number 3. Drottning Home Palace The royal family lives at the 18th century world Heritage Drottning Home Palace on the Lovell Island, 30 minutes from central Stockholm public transport. The 18th century palace is beautiful, and much of it is open to the public. The surroundings are well worth a walk as well. In the summertime, there is a regular boat service from the City Hall Key to Drottning Home. The current Swedish royal family have used the West Wing Drottning Home as their primary residence since 1981. Since then, 
The palace has also been guarded by the Swedish military in the same fashion as Stockholm Palace. The other parts of the palace are open to the public. The gardens and park areas surrounding the castle and its buildings are one of the main attractions for the tourists that visit the palace each year. The gardens have been established in stages since the castle was built, resulting in different styles of parks and gardens. Apart from being the private residence of the Swedish royal family, the palace is a popular tourist attraction. Number 4. Sea Historic City Hall Nestled at the water's edge and topped by three golden crowns, the City Hall is one of Stockholm's most iconic buildings and stars in countless images and postcards of the city. Dating from 1923, the hall opened on that most Swedish of dates Midsummer's Eve. Housed within are assembly rooms, offices, works of art, and the machinery of civil democracy. The prestigious annual Nobel banquets are held here. Recipients dine first in the Blue Hall and then move on to the formal ball in the Golden Hall, which has no less than 18 million mistakes adorning its walls. A particular treat is the chance to view the city from the famous tower. Number 5. Stockholm Boat Tour The sea flows through the arteries of Stockholm, and during the summer months, the city is quite literally awash with boats of all shapes and sizes. Many city dwellers own summer houses on the islands of the Scar Garden and spend, if not the entire summer there, and most weekends. It all makes for a Friday evening commute like no other. Bearing all this in mind, to experience Stockholm from the water is surely a must-do for any visitor. It's also a great way to get your bearings early on in your visit. Take a trip under the bridges of Stockholm or while away an hour or two on the Royal Canal Tour. There are also hop-on, hop-off options with a valid ticket lasting 24 hours. Best of all, cruises are available year-round and can be just as much fun in winter. Number 6. Ostermalm Ostermalm is the most exclusive district in the city. Exclusive international labels rub shoulders with high-class Scandinavian design. On Bibliotskaden, there's an abundance of flagship shops and designer boutiques, while the neighborhood around Stirepplen offers plenty of posh shops, some with sky-high price tags. Lovers of art and interior design will enjoy Svensk, Ten and Malmsten Mudeiken, at the beginning of Strandvagen near Nibirviken. Many of Sweden's top antique dealers lie around the common Dorskaden neighborhood. Be sure to drop by Ostermalmschillen for the absolute best in Swedish fresh food and produce. Number 7. Perfect Sky View Situated on Stockholm's southern fringe, Sky View takes you to the top of the world's largest spherical building, the Ericsson Globe, one of Stockholm's modern landmarks. From 130 meters above sea level, you'll be treated to an unforgettable view over the entire city. Tours aboard the gondolas take about 30 minutes and depart every 10 minutes, but be prepared for long lines at peak times of the day. After the trip, sightseers can visit the restaurant and souvenir shop. Number 8. Stockholm Amusement Park Gronoland is an amusement park in Stockholm. It is located on the seaward side of Jurgarden Island. It is relatively small compared to other amusement parks, mainly because of its central location, which limits expansion. The 3.8 Hopters Amusement Park has over 30 attractions and is a popular venue for concerts in the summer. It was founded in 1883 by James Sheltheus. Gronalund features most attractions common to amusement parks, such as a tunnel of love, a funhouse, and seven roller coasters. Gronalund is also known for its rock and pop music concerts. The capacity record is held by Bob Marley, who attracted 32,000 people in 1980. It was his third performance at the venue. The record is unbeatable since new regulations prevent such large audiences at Gronalund. American rapper Nas performed with almost 22,000 people in 2010. The park is easily accessible by Tram 7, Bus 67, and by ferry from the city center. Its central location allows visitors to view large parts of Stockholm from the taller attractions. Number 9. Stockholm Cathedral It is the oldest church in Stockholm. It lies in the center of Stockholm and Gamla Stan, between Stockholm Palace and Stordorget, the old main square of Stockholm. It was consecrated to St. Nicholas in 1306, but construction of the church probably started in the 13th century. Inside the cathedral, still maintains much of its late medieval appearance in the form of a hall church with a vaulted ceiling supported by brick pillars. The exterior of the church is, however, uniformly Baroque in appearance, the result of extensive changes made in the 18th century. The church played an important role during the Reformation in Sweden as the place where Mass was celebrated in Swedish for the first time. It currently serves as the seat of the Bishop of Stockholm within the Church of Sweden since the creation of the Diocese of Stockholm in 1942. The cathedral was for a long time the only parish church of Stockholm, and from an early date it was connected with the Swedish royal family. 
It has been the scene of historical events on numerous occasions and was used as a coronation church for centuries. More recently, the wedding between Crown Princess Victoria and Daniel Wesling took place in the church in 2010. Number 10. Vasa Museum The Incredible Vasa Battleship The main attraction at Stockholm's brilliant Vasa Museum was intended to be the pride of the Swedish Imperial Fleet. Yet, in a foreigner of the Titanic disaster centuries later, this majestic 64-gun vessel sank on its maiden voyage in 1628. This is the most visited museum in Sweden, and rightfully so. More than one million people a year come here to enjoy the different exhibitions 